Hi there, it's me again, Steve Bedder from Autodesk here in the UK with another Autodesk Inventor quick tip. Now this one's all about creating geometry that's normal to a surface. So I've got my uh, my part here that I've been working on. Um, what we want to create here is a feature that always stays normal to the surface um, no matter where it's moved to. So what I want to do, I want to create a point and I'm going to use the inline work features here to select the datum point that we've got plus the plane and then the surface so I'm actually creating three inputs or selecting three inputs here um, to actually create the work point and you can see that there's the work point that I've got that's on the top of that surface now the inputs that we selected were the point on the sketch the plane at the base and then also the surface and you can see as I pick from the tree there you can see that the uh, the features have been consumed. So next thing to do is create myself a plane and again I'm going to use the inline tools and you access the inline tools just by right mouse clicking um, when you've selected to create the plane and in this case I created um, an axis based on the point and also on the um, on the surface itself, that top surface which created the plane for me. Now at that point I can create a sketch on that plane and this is going to be the feature that we want. In this case, I'm going to highlight it a little bit. Uh, I'm going to exemplify it a little bit more by creating an extruded cylinder that comes out of the top here so we can actually see as this moves around. But you could uh, quite easily create a slot or a, an emboss feature or maybe some text um, on this surface. And you can see that that is now normal to the surface that we placed it on. Just to see what we're, what we're actually working on a little bit better. I'm just going to change the the part or the properties of that solid body so we can see it. Let's make it green. And now what you'll notice is as I as I edit the dimensions there at that base sketch because we've created the work features based upon that geometry as I change those values the position is changing but the geometry is always staying normal to that surface. So no matter where we change the, or where, no matter where we move that point, no matter what those dimensions are, that geometry will always stay normal as we require it. That's another quick Autodesk Inventor tip for you.